Good day and welcome to the ISKI Certification Days 2019. We have just passed the halfway mark of this week of Certification Days, in which we will have 10 presentations for you. We've done the first five during this week, and now we're going to go to number six, which will be about IREB. And as you can see, we have the logo on the screen here. Tonight, Stefan Stahl will talk to you about IREB and about requirements in a continuously changing world. And our world is indeed continuously changing. And we see that through all the programs that we have to offer, that there is a lot and a lot of new things to, uh, to talk about. Yes, thank you very much, Craig. Welcome. So let me introduce a short introduction to uh, this uh, webinar. I'm the state of style. I have uh, more than 25 years experience. Um, in all my position, uh, as a programmer, software engineer, tester, business analyst, whatever, I had uh, problem with requirements. So most of the problems were that the pro uh, requirements weren't there or I weren't complete and even sometimes they were completely wrong. So the last decade I uh, studied this issue and embraced the IREP certification scheme and uh, Today, I'm working as a business analyst and requirements engineer and a product owner in agile environments, and there the requirements rapidly change. So how can we deal with it? Um, oh, I lost control again, I think. Let's try it this way. Yes, here we are. So we are a small company, LaSalle Requirements from Holland, the Netherlands. And beside the IREP uh, certification scheme, we also do training about business analysis and several agile trainings like the Scrum Product Owner, Kanban, user experience, design thinking, and whatever. So, but let's talk really about the requirements. So, we have here this little guy, let's call him John. He has a problem. And um, he wants or needs to change something or he has problems to be fixed. Most of the time, and uh, that is why people are inclined to immediately ask for a specific solution, like give me a button on the screen. And the major step that was uh, forgotten is uh, understanding and thinking about the problem and change. What do you want to reach? What are your goals? What are your objectives? What is the scope? And this is a difficult uh, task because we have also to deal with human factors, organizational factors, technical issues to solve. And therefore, requirements engineering can help to get from problems to solutions. 